Hi, I'm Stacy, and this is a video tutorial for GetWid, free WordPress blocks. And this time I will show and explain the features of the image hotspot block. Here is how the block looks. Its purpose is to display images with explanatory tooltips on specific parts of an image to provide more details. It makes simple images interactive and attention-grabbing. It may be useful on panorama images, plans, maps, schemas, and anything else that you will find appropriate. This block is very flexible. It allows adding an unlimited number of hotspots, customizing their look and behavior. Make sure that GetWid is installed and activated to gain access to the image hotspot block. The installation can be done through the Plugins tab, Add New, Search for GetWid, Install and Activate. Open the page or post where you would want to add the hotspot block. First of all, we will need to add an image for the hotspot. To do it, click on the plus icon, type hotspot in the search, or open the GetWid block section and drag and drop the image hotspot to the place on the page where you would want the block to appear. Here we can upload our image or pick one from the media library on the website. When you are happy with your choice, click Select. Now we have an image to work with, and we can change general settings for hotspots as well as for the image. Right away, we can replace the image with any other and change its size. Below are hotspot settings. Tooltips can appear on hover, on click, or on click with multiple tooltips open at the same time. This setting will be applied to all hotspots that we add later. We can choose an icon for hotspot points from a set of more than 200 icons and logos. A convenient search function is available here to help you find exactly what you need. Then we can adjust the size of a point and the size of spacing around the icon in each point. In the Advanced section, you can add a custom CSS class if you want to apply custom CSS styles to the whole block. In the Styles tab, such settings as tooltip colors and opacity can be adjusted. We can choose from suggested theme colors or pick a custom one. In the Advanced tab, we select a style for tooltip pop-ups themselves. The available ones are Default, Dark, Light with Border, Google and Dark with Transparency. The next setting hides or displays the arrow that appears between the tooltip pop-up and point. Below are different animations for each part of a hotspot. Tooltip animation is how a pop-up appears when you click or hover over a point. Choose amount shift away, shift toward, fade, scale and perspective. Point animation disables or enables the pulsation around each hotspot point. Point appearance animation is how points are displayed when the image is reached on the page. The options are zoom in, slide down or none. The last one is point animation on hover, and it is the behavior of each point when it is hovered over. In order to add our hotspots on the image, click on the pin icon and then on the image where you want the tooltip to appear. For each hotspot we can add a title, a URL and content. If you add a URL, the tooltip title will become hypertext. You can choose whether you want this link to be opened in a new tab or in the same tab automatically. The content field accepts text and HTML tags. If you want this tip to be opened by default, before a visitor even clicks or hovers over it, enable Opened by default. Position and style settings can be easily edited in the same pop-up screen, but I'll explain their settings in a second. All these settings can be edited at any time later. When you are happy with them, click Save and your hotspot will appear on the image. Each hotspot can be duplicated and moved around with the mouse. The hotspot that is being edited is highlighted in red. Here we have access to all the settings that were available in the pop-up menu and we can change them. X and Y coordinates is the exact location of the hotspot on the image in percentages. Changing the X coordinate will move the spot horizontally 
and the Y coordinate will move it vertically. As with general settings for all hotspots, now we can select unique background and icon colors for each hotspot. Tooltip position is where the tooltip appears in relation to its hotspot point – top, right, bottom or left. We can also choose the maximum width of each tooltip pop-up in pixels as well as a unique icon. If you want to apply even more advanced custom styles to each hotspot, add a custom CSS class in the advanced section. These are all the settings of GetWidth's hotspot block. Let us know what you think about the block in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for more WordPress tutorials. Thank you for watching and have a good one!